Designers, if you are spending hours doing UX research and you are still not able to get the desired result, then you need to stop right now. Yes, because I have found a new AI tool that can make the whole UX research process a piece of cake. And yes, this video is sponsored by Persona Chat, but everything that I'll be saying is my own thoughts about the product. And do check the product yourself. You can find the link in the description. Hey designers, my name is Ankit. I am a self UX designer and a YouTube content creator. Whether it be creating user persona, user journey mapping, or if you want to document your research, then you can do that in just a single click. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. Now, this is the interface of Persona Chat. This is the actual product. Once you enter the product, you will see that we have the research features and active projects. So in research features, these are the features that Persona Chat is offering you and you can do these research methods in this product. In active projects, you will see all the active projects that you are doing or you have done in the past. On the left side in the side drawer, you will see that we have a new project, active projects and drafts. And below that we have Figma library and Webflow library. So what it offers is Figma library and Webflow, they are offering the components and a small design system for your projects. Now, the first thing that you have to do is go to new project and you will enter this interface. Now you have to select what is the name of your project. Let's say I want to create a design agency. So I'll name, a, name it as AD designs. And I have to enter a description, help our AI understand your idea. What are you trying to build? So I'll create a, a design agency that focuses on creating human centric designs. So this is my product and what platform do I want it in? Let's say website and what are the user roles? Who will use this product? So maybe some design brands, let's say I want to, let's say I want to specify my niche. So maybe I want to do it for cafe owners and maybe I want to do it for airports. Let's generate role and it will generate roles for me. So let's say I want to first get the result for uh, cafe owners. So what I'll do is I'll create project brief and it will take a little time and then it will give me a project brief, all the details like target audience and all. Now it has done creating a brief for me and what it has done is project overview. Then we have the target audience. We have key features for cafe owners, additional features, and then success criteria, achievement of 20% increase in client satisfaction with the new design implementation. Now, if you have, if you, now, if you are a UX research, you know how much success criteria matters. So it has given me that also, then we have risk and mitigations. And these are all the data that it will be providing to you. Now what I'll do is I'll move on and I'll go to create personas. Now it is done creating user persona for me. Now these are 10 cafe owners personas that is it has created for me. If you see the cafe owner, New York, USA, the name of the person is Alex, 27 years old. Alex is a young entrepreneur who recently opened a trendy cafe in the city and so on. This is the detail of the cafe owner. This is one of the user persona and so on. We have 10 more user personas. Now let's move on and create our surveys. Now we have already done personas. Now the surveys are done as well. If I go to review, then you will see that it has generated some questions for me. So would you be interested in virtual tools of your cafe on your website? Yes, it would be a great addition. Do you think an events calendar showcasing special events at your cafe would attract more customers? So if you see, they have generated questions, not just simple and basic questions, but these are actual questions that a customer would want. And you will get really good data from this research. Now, if I go to generate responses, now if you see our survey responses are done and we have a total of 10 questions and a total of 100 responses on every question. If we go to review, we can see that uh, all the 10 questions are lined up the biggest amount of percentage on one option is highlighted. It will give you the question, the highest percentage on response and it shows the confidence on AI as well.
Now that's not the only thing that I can do here. What I can do is I can regenerate the response for one question if I want. Let's say if I am confused or if I am having a doubt that this question might not be having this kind of response. So I can regenerate it and it will give me that as well. Now the first response on this first question was giving me the B option was having 50%. Now it is giving me 90% and that is how you can do your research using this AI tool. And that is not the only best part about this one. If you go to the top right corner, you will see export to Figma. Now this feature is not available right now. It is coming soon. And once it is done, you can actually export your research into Figma as well. And that's enough about the product for now. There will be new features that will be dropping soon and you can use them as well. And do check the link in the description and try out the product yourself to help yourself design better. And that is it for today's video. If you liked the video or you learned something new, then smash that like button, share it among your designer friends. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel right now. And see you till next time.